Hey everybody. This video is going to be a little bit something different that I uh, that I'm doing because this is something I got to be a part of a while back. I figured y'all might get a kick out of it. Um, there was a show that came on. Uh, it was on Cinemax for a while. Uh, it's filmed in Mooresville, North Carolina. Uh, it's actually a TV show called Banshee. Um, but it was filmed in Mooresville, and uh, they uh, were asking, uh, I was friends with some people that uh, were needing some, uh, I'd done some stuff on a TV show called Homeland, and they were needing some extras uh, with this Banshee thing, so they um, they were like, hey man, you know, we're going to be needing some extras and stuff, you know, if you want to come up, they're looking for some military, it's like military SWAT operators for the FBI type stuff, if you're interested, come on. So um, uh, I was like, yeah, absolutely. So I was actually off that day, so I, I went up to Mooresville and met up with the, the crew that was up there, and they're like, absolutely, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get you suited up. So I get to put on green fatigues and um, get all done up, and uh, so uh, I'm a SWAT operator. But the, the neat part about this is I got to meet a lot of these people, but they, they kept us separate. Uh, they would try to keep us, like, right now, all, all of us are over in this area right here, and the main actors over here. Now, eventually, they come put us together, but they don't write the first. Uh, but so when I was in there, uh, I ended up taking a break and I went outside and I met a guy named Robert Burke and he was just outside smoking a cigarette and we're just sitting there cutting up talking. They try to keep the extras and the main actors actually away from each one another, but he's out there smoking. I'm out there just BS and, uh, taking a phone call or something, but I was out there and we ended up firing a conversation up and, uh, he was also a first responder and, uh, he's been a volunteer firefighter for like. 15 years. So we start throwing war stories back there. We've been out there about 15 minutes talking about everything under the sun. And um, so they come up and say, Mr. Burke, we're ready for your scene. So the next thing you know, um, we get up and I'm walking back inside with him and he's like, just come with me. And there's, they, they've got, there was like a, I think I can remember there was, there was a couple of different doors they wanted the extras to go through. They wanted the actors to go through the other door that they kind of keep it separate. But I go walking through the door with him and they're like, a couple of people stopped me like you're supposed to go in that other door and he's like no no he's with me so I was like I was like oh this is cool uh, but we get on inside and uh, I'll uh, I'll show you some of the scene and stuff but uh, I'll tell you in a second what he does it's pretty pretty cool how everything happened. I'm sure he's happy about this as I am. And if you as you can tell, bald head, big dude right here. Uh, that's me all day. <laughs> My uh, few seconds of fame. Who's in charge? Anybody who's not wearing a badge, clear out now. One guess. So, this gentleman right here you've seen, uh, this is Robert Burke. He's the gentleman that uh, I was talking to outside. Uh, so, we're talking about everything. When we go inside, uh, there's going to be a scene in a second where he, he's up there uh, cutting up. Me and him were sitting there cutting up about some stuff. And he goes, I'm going to get you up here beside me. So he puts me right beside him and basically tells me to kind of act like I'm working on a computer. So, um, and then they were like trying to move me over here away from everybody uh, on scene. And I'll show it to you in a second. So, I'm going to get Is the oh, the background, back, so you've seen all the actors right. moving around. They had us walking in circles and stuff. It was funny. Well, I make this harder than it needs to be. Commander Farrell. So as you can see, this is the scene I was talking about. So uh, Robert pretty much wanted me to right beside him when they were, they were trying to, like, like I was telling earlier, they were trying to move me over there, but he put me right beside him and I got a little bit of FaceTime and you know, a couple of people were like, a couple of the other extras I was talking to and stuff were like, dude, you got like a golden horseshoe up your butt. I'm like, man, I don't know. I just talk to people like I always do. But uh, like I said, it, it was a lot of fun and I enjoyed it. And I wish I could have done more stuff with them. But, you know, with everything I do on the side and stuff at work, I couldn't get back up there. And then they wrapped up season after uh, season four. But uh, it was pretty awesome. Uh, I'll go ahead and keep playing the rest of it. Sheriff sure, Hood. And this team are here to support you in any way you see fit. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. You're just in time. I was about to brief my man. 
Our primary target is a threat level one. The director has authorized the use of necessary force in his apprehension. Eye in the sky is detected a remote red bone encampment deep in Kanado territory. The area is heavily wooded with limited vehicle access, limited nighttime visibility. Sir, we'll stage on this adjacent access road and we'll approach on foot. We'll execute the arrest warrant first light. Any questions? Yeah, what about us? Local law enforcement members can now PD will observe the operation. Observe. Sheriff, I know this guy killed one of your own. And I have Yeah, this is my last scene I got to be in right here. Uh, as you can see, that's definitely me and my big old bald head. But uh, like I said, I I love working on set. This is this is not the first thing I've got to do like this. I've done a lot of other extra work. Uh, I could do some more mainstream stuff, but I don't know if any of y'all know how expensive it actually is to be an actor. Uh, you have to get in what they call the Screen Guild, and it's it's insanely expensive. It's like several thousand dollars a month. At least that's what I've been told. I've never really tried to research it much, just because like I've got too much other stuff going on. But uh, anyway, I thought y'all might get a kick of it. Kick out of it, excuse me. Sympathetic to that. That's why you're being invited along. But make no mistake, this matter falls under federal jurisdiction, so please do us all a favor and stay out of the way. Sure thing. And the funny part about it is, I was standing beside him and had no idea who he was because I hadn't watched the show before I got on it. So I didn't get into the show until way later on. And you know, I've actually, like I said, this is the first time I've actually got to see, you know, everything in its entirety. But uh, anyway, like I said, I thought y'all might get a kick of it. Thank you for watching.